Welcome to this Excel Stat Chart video on how to automate an analysis in Excel Stat. The data we are using is the process measurements of food samples stored in two Excel workbooks. Once Excel Stat Pro is activated, go to the menu Options and in the tab Advanced Enable the option Show the Advanced buttons in the dialog boxes. In this example, we will automate a principal component analysis, so you need firstly to set up the analysis as usual. Go to the menu Analyzing Data, Principal Component Analysis. In the General tab, start by setting up the data to analyze. In the observations per variables table and select the columns B to G. Then leave the data format specified to observations per variables table. Choose the Pearson and PCA type. The results will be displayed in a new sheet as the option sheet is preferred. As the selected data contains variable labels, leave that option enabled. Pick the observation labels option to stipulate the name of the samples located in the column A. Move over to the next tab, Options. For the option Filter Factors, choose Maximum Number and set the value to 6. This way all the components will be calculated. Go to the tab Outputs. We want to get a synthetic report so we can unselect descriptive statistics, correlations, contribution and square cosines to focus on the important results. Finally we are going to use all three plots that can be selected in the Charts tab. Correlation Charts, Observations Charts and Biplots. Now we have specified all the settings. We will generate the code to be reused. Click on the grey button at the bottom left of the dialog box. The VBA code is now in a notepad document. Select it all and copy it. Click on OK to launch the analysis. Now choose the plot for the axes F1 and F2 by clicking Select and then press Done. Have a look at the biplot. This food process is usually stable, so we can expect little variation. You can see that all the samples are centered tidily around the middle of the plot. Let's move on to the second file automation to. Press Alt and F11 together in order to launch the Visual Basic application. Then select Sheet 1 in the folder VBA Project Automation 2 and finally right click and opt for the action Insert Module. The next step is to paste the code contained in the notepad file into this module. At this step, you can add more codes to enable the program to perform other actions. Then you need to run first the sub called Run Me Once. This will make a link between the file and the Excel Stat project where the code is stored. Place the cursor before the start of the sub and click on Run Run Sub or User Form located in the menu bar. When this has been completed, run the second sub called My Sub. Repeat the same procedure. The code has been executed and we now have a sheet PCA containing the results. Now, if we look at this new biplot, we notice that this time one of the samples 
seems to be further away than the others. Sample 13 may be an outlier. To conclude this tutorial, remember that firstly enable the advanced option show the advanced buttons in the dialog boxes then set up the analysis as usual next generate the VBA code using the grey button of the dialog box once this is completed create a module in the Visual Basic application of Excel lastly run the subs Thank you for watching this video.